Well, welcome everybody to the Warner Babcock Institute for Green Chemistry. My name is John Warner, the Warner side, and I'd like to introduce James Babcock of the Babcock side of the Warner Babcock Institute for Green Chemistry. It's a phenomenal event here. I want to start right away by congratulating the genius and creativity of the uh, artists that have graced us with this amazing work. What do you think of when you think of art? The immediate response almost always is beauty. We ever think about why? What makes art and beauty be so intimately connected? Well, what does it mean for art to be beautiful? You look at any one of these amazing pieces here and you see beauty. It's inevitable that you can't help but react in such a positive emotional way to the beauty and the talent and the skill that went into creating that, that image. If we're in a certain mood and a passion is inside of us, we can be fascinated and amazed and see beauty in anything. So maybe beauty is in everything. There's a guy that um, it works in this building who works on asphalt. And if you saw him interacting with a piece of asphalt, it would be the way that I was gushing over these images here as I'm looking at these paintings. Because to him, that's beauty. It is a piece of art. What does science mean? What does art mean? The very same neurological activity. If we took these brilliant artists and we did some kind of thing where we ran their brains full of electrodes and said, paint something, and you took those same electrodes and put them into the scientist working in the lab, pouring beakers and flasks, you know what? the same neurological activity would be happening. Creating something that doesn't exist, imagining something and then through your hands and through your minds and through your thoughts and your actions, bringing into reality that which didn't exist before, that isn't art, that isn't science, that is being human. And that is something that brings us entirely together in a way that we can collaborate as arts, artists and as scientists and kind of blur those lines of what it means to create, to imagine, and to make happen. In a way, that's the coolness about it. You all drove here on a road to come and look at this art. You might not have been looking down. These people here, can you imagine if you gave them and said, just go look out in the parking lot and create art from your reaction to a chunk of pavement. Can you imagine what it would look like in here? It would be beautiful, it would be amazing, it would be astounding, and we would react just emotion, as much emotion to that as to this, okay? And to be a group of people joined together, to have this moment where we can look at this art, it don't get no better than this. Thank you for being here, and enjoy the space. Thank you. Thank you.